Right, hello everybody. Come up to our little shoot today. For uh, bring the old ghost out. We haven't used it for a little while. Thought we'll just put a few rounds through it. What I've done is set up a 35 yard tug, knock down, well sort of knock up, knock down target up there. Another one at 20. So obviously it's gun zero to 35. So just been out for a while for the with the gun. Uh, done a uh, YouTube video for ages. I've just been putting up old footage that I had on another phone. <laughs> Troubles in England, well now, the weather's nice, but before it's just, all we seem to get is rain after rain. You get, and then you get a day to be able to come out, or time to do something, and it rains again. So, but the last week it's been pretty dry. It's quite windy today, a bit of sunshine, so I was going to help dry things out. Right, yeah, so I've got a 35 yard target, another one at 20. Uh, it's a little bit windy as well, I'm sort of tucked in the edge of our pond at the moment, trying to get out of the wind, but there is a right, to left quite strong wind but the thing is we're only shooting at 35 yards 20 yards so it's going to get blown around a little bit but i just want to get up just put a few shots through the gun really right okay let's load it up and uh let's have a few shots we'll see you guys you know magazine system 177 this gun drops in there so I can you got safety catches on the side there. So you push it that way. We'll see the fire. And that way for safe. <laughs> right. Right, okay, so just have a couple of shots on the uh, 35 yard and uh, see how we get on. So I haven't used it for a little while. Uh, not making any excuses, but hopefully we're um hit the target. There's a little bit of right end wind as well, so. That was right. I'll go just on the edge of the kill there, and it's pretty well it's straight in the middle. And my dog's walked up there now. Come on, Bruno, down here. Here, come here. Come on. <laughs> Got me a little dog with me today. And his mum as well, she's wandering behind me somewhere. So. And love being out, don't they? Yeah, good old gumsies, isn't they? So accurate. We'll go that right end edge and uh, that's where it went. The wind's dropped a bit. Try that again. Right. I haven't used this for hunting for ages. Yeah, I use JSBs in this. I haven't really tried any. I'll tell you what I have got. I've got some um, air arms pellets. I'll just put a few through that in a minute to see. I haven't tried any other pellets in this really, only the JSBs. They do go well in it, but it's a. Uh, we'll do grab some different pellets out of the box and uh, try something different. Right, okay. Still got JSBs in there. Just, just been having a play on that 35 yard target just hitting the base itself it's real strong wind coming across this lake from right to left must be blowing it two or three inches to the left at 35 yards all of a sudden as soon as the wind drops it goes straight wind picks up and it just so yeah so i've just been shooting at some pellet marks on the uh, actual base itself of the target right let's see where this one goes but one of them just went Literally aimed at the pellet mark, and it went about that far to the left. The gust of wind coming through and just went whew, just really, even at 35 yards, the amount of wind, the way it affects the pellet. <laughs> yeah, that one went straight, the wind's dropped a bit now. Incredible. Well, I'll take you up and show you the um, target in a minute. But it's not. I mean, there's no arguing with the, the um, accuracy of this rifle. It's like pellet on top of pellet, pretty much. <laughs> Straight to the die that time. <laughs> Every day, innit? Yeah, do the same thing over and over again. <laughs> yeah. 
one more and I'll take you up and show you a couple of uh, marks on the target. Right, let's go up and have a look. I'll leave you rolling, we'll just walk up and have a, have a look at it. I don't know, I don't know what a dog's so fun. I think there might be either a rat or something underneath that tin, or a mouse. I <laughs> keep going over there trying to scratch it out. On the wander now. Right, so I'll walk up here. So as soon as you walk out here though, get past these trees. I'll say that's the uh, 20 yard target. I ain't had a shot at that yet. As right, so you walk out here, the wind's just coming straight across the pond there. Right, let's have a look at this. 35 yard. Yeah, now there's, there's no wind. Just a minute ago, it's. So if I was aiming here, they were, the wind was pushing them across here. And the next time you shoot, they're all going straight. <laughs> but I was up just a minute ago, when up before that gust of wind came, I was aiming here, and the pellet went right over here. Incredible, wasn't it? Even at 35 yards. Right, okay. Yeah, you can just feel the wind cutting across from this, coming across here. Yeah, incredible. Right, okay. Right, let's have a few more shots. There's one of the dogs running about, wondering what I'm up to. You alright, Bruni? <laughs> right, it's one of the back that's ass way again. It's quite a nice day really. It's just quite windy, that's all. But it's just nice to come out and just have a few shots with the old ghost ready. Something to do. Right. Yeah, what I've been doing, I've been um, tidying up some of the um, dust shelters around the chute around here, around the pond. We're going to get pheasants again this season, so I'm just trying to get on top of all these jobs that need doing before they arrive. Yeah, there's the old dog over here, something underneath here. Have a good old sniff about that. <laughs> what you got, Roxy? What's under there then? Something down there. What you got there, Rox? Hey, what you found? Yeah, probably a mouse, I suspect. I don't know, it might be a rat actually. I think there's some rat droppings down there. Ooh. What we might do in a minute then, I'll lift this up. I've got too many terriers here, we'll see if we can get it. <laughs> all right, we'll look at that again in a minute. It looks like something's been chewing on here though. I reckon there must be a rat under there. Can you see all this wood's been chewed here, look. Yeah, oh. All right, we'll have a look at that in a minute. What we'll do, we'll lift it all up. And yeah, let the old dogs have a go. At right, let's try the air arms. What I've done is swap the targets around now because the other one's <laughs> right mess, pellets all over it. Right, let's try again. But it's not ideal conditions really. But we'll give it a go, see what happens. Right. Same about there somewhere. Knock up, knock down. I think he's working on that bit, all right. One more on the knock up, knock down bit. I'm going to shoot that out of the plate. To say it's just too windy, really. All right, let's see where this goes. Well, I've got a pellet mark on it now, so we'll use that as a main point, see what happens. Oh, just that wind has picked up again. So annoying, isn't it? That wind, isn't it? God, dear. Give it a second. <clears throat> right. Try again. Oh. 
unreal. Aiming on the, the pellet mark there, and it's blown it at least that far over. Incredible. <coughs> I mean, those first three shots were right on top of each other. <laughs> so, I mean, it's just too windy. Testing pellets. I was on top of the other ones. Actually, they're pretty good, really. Give a couple more, then we'll put some JSBs in there and try them. Oh, that wind's picked up again then. All right, might have to go over to air arms then. Wow, they're pretty good. Not bad at all, actually. I'm impressed with it. Right, let's take you guys out and have a look. So there's a lot of wind swirling around, but the majority of them are pretty well on top of each other. Let's go and have a look. You know, really. You guys know, you know, you need to try, try different pellets in your rifle. Some they like and some they don't. Alright, let's have a walk up here. So this is 35 yards, so. Yeah, so many nice little cluster just there. But the wind's just as I aimed there and it ended up over here, but the wind, you can see it coming across here. I don't know why I'm to that one. That's probably me, but yeah, not too bad. Once you're in a real calm day, you could probably get a nice little, you know, cluster in there. Yeah, just say it's just too windy for today, really. All right, then. We'll do it. Find another mark on here and we'll uh, <coughs> try some JSBs. Right. Okay, let's go and get them sorted out. Try some JSBs this time. I think what we're going to have to do, we're going to pick a different day when it's nice and calm. We'll do a proper test. Right, let's just put a few of these up there, see how they go. There's nothing wrong with them either. <laughs> oh dear. Ooh. Wow. Nothing in it, I've done it. Try this is too too windy. I keep saying it, I know, but. You're never going to get a, a proper uh, group, you know, in these sort of windy conditions. Well, The dog wandering about. I don't know what she's seen there or smelt something. <laughs> Just too windy for this, really. I'll take you out and have a look, but we need a proper calm day, really. What she's found over here. Roxy! Roxy! Oh, she might want a drink. 
Don't fall in. Yeah, she's thirsty. Oh, I mean, last time I come up, he was out here shooting, a duck shooting. She actually fell in the lake and they pull her out. Roxy, come on out of there now. Come on. Yeah, didn't you? Come on up here. There's some water up here somewhere. Come on. Come on. Come on up this bit, though. It's a bit shallower here. Yeah? You don't have to go so far to go in there. <laughs> oh dear, I don't know. Funny little things and they terriers. And their own little characters. Right, let's have a look at this. <laughs> yeah, I need a calmer day for this game. Well, that's that little group in there. So that's the other ones, but just too much, too windy. So, well, 35 yards. Should be a lot more accurate than that at 35 yards. But the weather's not ideal, really. Was it, mate? Hey. Right, okay, what I'll do, I'll have a few more shots of it. And uh, call it a day, really. Because I've been up here a few hours now doing all our um, dust and showers. Clearing all these out. A uh, little bit of sun in there, dry it out. So the old pheasants like the dust in there. Now, before they arrive, I'm probably going to have to strim it all out and do it again, but it's just just trying to keep it under control so there's not so much work to do later on. Because there was like a lot, lot of this stuff in there, little fawns. Obviously, I couldn't get in there with a strimmer because <laughs> they're all in the way, so I had to clear it all out. But next time I come, just use a strimmer now. It'll just be brambles and nettles and stuff like that, which is the five minute job and it'll all be done. Makes it just a lot easier to, uh, to sort out. Right, okay. Not a too exciting video, I know, but it's just, it's like I wanted to, I've been busy doing all these shouts, so I thought, right, for the last hour, just have a little play around with the old ghost, really. But we'll be back out of it again. And uh, a bit more fun. Right, let's get back up here. Time's getting on a bit now, so I'll get a bit hungry, so probably have another 10 minutes on the uh, put a few more pellets through it and uh, that'll do be it then, call it a day. Right, okay, okay. Oh no, we're gonna look at the rats, won't we? Alright, we'll do that in a minute. Yeah, uh, can't beat the old ghosts, they're good guns, aren't they? Yeah, nice bits of kit. Oh, ain't too bad on here. The only thing I don't like about this. There's a height of this rail, you know, just trying to work out your aiming points, different ranges, because, you know, the scope ideally should be as close to the barrel as possible. So you've got so much hold over and hold under. But, you know, it's quite quite high up, isn't it? So you've got all that room of error, you know. You know I was thinking about taking this off, this rail, and putting this down here on the, this rail, just to bring it down lower. So. I haven't really seen a lot of people do that, so I don't know why not. Yeah, I don't know if you're going to get the, the right distance between, you know, for your eye relief, because it's going to be quite... Mm, Tommy got the mounts. You know, it should be, I don't know. I might try it one day just to uh, just see if it works. If not, we'll go back to the way it is. Right, okay, dokie. Okay. okay, then. Right, it's only a short one, I'm afraid. For this anyway, but what I do, I'll put a little clip in the at the end so we can get that wrap money underneath that tin with the dogs. Right, okay. I think they're all ready to go for it. Right, okay then, catch you in a bit guys. Oh, if you haven't done it already, hit the old subscribe button, hit the old thumbs up as well, please. Thank you very much. Bye for now. Right, let's just see if there's a rat underneath. Are these dogs keep coming over here? Right, let's have a look, see if anything comes running out. <laughs> right. Roxy, come here, come on, down here. 
dig it. This should be interesting. Plenty of signs of a rat here, I think. Ooh, this should be good. <laughs> see what happens here. Oh dear, it's going to be running all over the place. I can see it happening already. You can see what they've been digging underneath here. Right, let's get ready. Let's see what happens. Uh. Bruno, come here. Yeah, come here. Here, here. Here he goes. Yep, there they are. Get him, Bruno. Get him. Oh, he ran out. Got away. <laughs> right behind it like that. <laughs> oh no, that's close. Oh, they've gone over there now. There's two rats under there. Oh damn, they're so close. Dog was like literally right up behind there. <laughs> oh no. I don't know if you see the rats running about. <laughs> oh damn. Oh, so close. It's like right like that, millimetres away from it. <laughs> Oh no, two rats under there, they died out through there. I don't know if you saw it on the film or not. Oh, that's good. I mean, it, dog was like that right behind it. They've gone out through there into those brambles now, they <laughs> run around out there. Oh well, I hope, I hope you saw those rats, there's two of them there. Damn, I thought we were gonna get them then. 